You have no idea how hard it was for me to get here. <sighs> there are a bunch of things I wanted to do before I started this process, but I kept delaying the start. I kept finding things that I wanted to do before I would record a video. I kept getting carried away in the gear and the lighting and all of it. You know, it's all fun. It's all fun, but um, it's been like two or three weeks since I had the initial idea, and <laughs> I'm, I'm not very far at all. Just in my room alone, there's a lot of things that I wanted to have a little cleaner, a little more presentable. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there specifically. And I wanted to clean my floor, clean, clean a bunch of surfaces off, but with how I'm doing right now, that's just not very realistic. There's a bug. This idea, this video, this series, if that's what it becomes, is really about my journey in recovery more than it's about presenting myself how I want to be perceived. <laughs> a little bit of background. Um, I've been unable to eat normally for roughly two years now, almost exactly two years, actually. For the past four or five months, I've eaten mostly white rice and ground beef, some potatoes every now and then. This was all because of some abdominal issues that I'm having, still having. I don't want to go into too many gross details. Lots of, lots of pain. <laughs> that all kind of led to not being able to tolerate most foods, both physically and psychologically. Rice and beef really became the only foods that I was comfortable eating on a daily basis. So that's all I ate, three meals a day or less. And when I say meals, these weren't, these weren't big portions. These were very small, so even, mm. see even right now I'm getting, getting uh, some upper gas and discomfort in my stomach. <sighs> Lately, at, towards the beginning of November, I was starting to get food cravings. I'd noticed that I wasn't repulsed by pizza or pasta anymore. And I even started to crave things like French toast, plain noodles. As soon as that started happening, I asked my doctor to um, refer me to a dietitian who has been absolutely wonderful helping me reintroduce foods. Before I even had this idea, I was having a lot of success with wheat products, whereas before I was eating zero. I had, I had taken a uh, food sensitivity test and it seemed like gluten might have been bothering me. If gluten is bothering me, then I can stop eating it as soon as I get back to some kind of normal diet, some kind of normal lifestyle. So I've had tremendous success with wheat products, pasta, bread, And then I've also had some success with dairy. I had some sort of intolerance there. To be fair, the the blood test I did came back with me being intolerant to like everything. <laughs> so not sure how accurate it was. And apparently in the dietitian world, they they use those as a general guideline and not a hard and fast rule for how you should eat. So I, I reintroduced wheat products and dairy products, so now I can have toast in the morning instead of rice and beef. I can have pasta with butter on it instead of rice and beef. 
by introducing wheat and dairy products, I've more than doubled the variety of my diet. Currently, I'm working on reintroducing vegetables. Vegetables still kind of are really gross sounding to me. <laughs> I've kind of noticed that I'm, I'm back to like kind of where I was as a middle schooler. <laughs> I, I want macaroni and not broccoli. Ugh. I want macaroni, not broccoli. I want a sandwich, not a salad. Having already introduced vegetables at one point in my life, that was probably around the end of high school, I'm embarrassed to admit, but I've done it before, so I kind of figure I can do it again, theoretically. The idea is baby steps. Me and my dietitian have worked out a plan to introduce vegetables in a variety of different ways super slowly. So the first being a vegetable pasta, you know, the three colored spiral noodles? Yeah, those are bomb because I've already tried pasta. It's not a big jump to that. The second being vegetable broth, not straight, but cooking things like brown rice or white rice or even pasta in vegetable broth. Spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce. Because I've already had bread, I've already had cheese. All you need is tomato sauce to make a pizza. Of course you can make a pizza without tomato sauce, but classic cheese pizza. Maybe I'll change my phone background to <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> <sighs> Guac, uh, frozen riced vegetables. So you can get, they're actually pretty cool. You can get like riced cauliflower. It just looks like rice, but it's cauliflower, it's frozen. It doesn't taste like rice. Um, actually back when, back when I was uh, doing a lot of camping, one of my favorite camping meals was like a box of mac and cheese. Annie's has a vegan mac and cheese that I was really into. And then I would get riced vegetables, a blend, I think, of cauliflower, carrots, and broccoli, maybe asparagus or something in there. I don't know. White, green, and uh, orange. <laughs> and I would, um, I would boil the mac and cheese. I would fry up the vegetables put it all in one pot and mix it all together. It was amazing. I miss that. So theoretically, if it sounds good, should go well, right? <sighs> For some reason, I'm having the most trouble with greens. I don't know why that is the most psychological trouble. But the, the more colorful vegetables like carrots and bell peppers sound okay. The other thing my dietitian said was, since eating is such a difficult thing for me right now, any cravings I do have, I should probably satisfy. If I'm craving chocolate chip cookies, like it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt me to have chocolate chip cookies, unless of course that's the only thing I eat. Right now I'm focusing more on variety than I am on the highest quality ingredients or the highest quality um, choices. <laughs> I've actually tried the, the pasta, the veggie pasta. I've tried the broth. I've tried the tomato sauce. After I go into Rayleigh's, I got about 24 minutes to get to round table pizza. I think I'm gonna try a cheese pizza. I might chicken out and just have breadsticks. I've had the breadsticks before. I know I can do it. The garlic's a little concerning about that though. But I think, I think it's time to try pizza. Uh, yeah, so anyways, the, the actual eating the pizza went, went pretty well. It's, yeah, it's hot and I, I got that classic like 
you know, too much sugar, burn the roof of your mouth kind of vibe. Yeah, I know, sometimes, you know, you eat, you eat pizza and it, like, the roof of your mouth just feels raw. I got a little bit of that going on, but my stomach so far is okay. Success. I actually tried guac, guacamole. I feel like I should mention that tomato and avocado are technically fruits, but I think everybody agrees that they are the most vegetable-like fruits out there, so... That was, that was a big day, actually. So what happened is I had, I had a couple different appointments throughout the day and not really enough time to go home and get all cleaned up in between them. So I decided, okay, like, hey, let's go out for pizza. It's been, I haven't eaten out in, I haven't eaten out in over a year. I ordered myself just a small cheese pizza, and it was awesome. The place was super empty inside, of course, for obvious reasons. And then I got home, and I realized like, oh, shoot, I can't, I can't take a shower and get all cleaned up and get into my pajamas. All of my towels were in the, in the dryer. And then uh, my family said they were going out to, to dinner. I said, oh, why not? I'll join. Worst case scenario, I just won't eat anything. We went to a Mexican place. I got chips and guac and a quesadilla, and I checked guac off my list. So it was cool. I, eating out at a restaurant was a, was a big goal for me, and I did it twice in one day. <laughs> So in terms of next steps, I still want to try the riced veggies. I still want to reassociate myself with fresh vegetables. I want to try, I want to try guac again, just to make sure. I want to try whole carrots, whether they're raw or cooked, I haven't decided yet. And same with the bell peppers. But I think the, the logical first step is the riced veggies. Start with just cauliflower, move up from there do riced carrots, mix them in with other meals that I already know I can do to kind of hide hide the, uh, the fact that I'm eating vegetables again. Pokemon came out. That's been a lot of fun. I have four gym badges. Um, so there you have it. What I've been doing what I am doing, and what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching.